Okay guys, so I'm just going to be getting ready and talking to you again about the uh, Kat Von D situation and I know a lot of you are thinking Woman, you said everything you needed to say on Instagram Why are you repeating yourself? If you don't know me, when I feel very strongly about something I'm like a freaking dog with a bone I just, I just can't let go And this is something that I really can't let go about um, and especially because I just don't see enough people talking about it. I just haven't seen almost anyone from the bigger YouTubers make a comment uh, on Instagram or post a video about it. And I will mention a few exceptions, of course, but for the most part, this just went very quietly. And I feel like it cannot go quietly. Not when you have 7.6 million followers on Instagram and when you are the face of a cosmetics brand. So, for those of you who don't know at all what I'm talking about, a um, couple of days ago, Miss Von D decided that uh, she wants to announce to Instagram, so publicly, that she's not going to vaccinate her future offspring. And, as you know, she's pregnant, or if you don't know it, yeah, she's expecting a baby. I was extremely upset about it, because I feel very, very, very strongly about this topic. Um, and I was very disappointed because just look at my video from like two weeks ago. It's a get ready with me, um, not get ready with me, but it's a three looks uh, collab with her new palette. And if you've been following my channel for at least a little bit, you know that for the past two years, my favorite eyeshadow palettes have been hers. So I've been a huge supporter of her brand. I've never really been too involved in who she is as a person because I really don't care unless you are like a horrendous human being and there is actual like um, proof for it. And I've never really like directly come across with um, any of her previous um, controversial behavior. So for me, you know, it was like, yeah, whatever, you know. I know people have said things, but... Um, I haven't really paid much attention, maybe that's my fault, but anyway, this is the first time that I've been like one-on-one -on -one confronted with her um, controversial, and not even controversial, this is not even controversial, this is just plain stupid. So, oh, I feel like I'm going to be super random with this uh, get ready with me because I'm just not, I haven't formed my thoughts, I'm just passionately talking about something that really bothers me. So, um... The thing I want to start off with, just to make it clear where I stand, I think that when it comes to um, vaccinations, there is like words like belief, beliefs, family matter, my personal opinion, don't have any place. There is no place for these words. Um, there is only place for cold, harsh scientific facts. And the facts are that you need to vaccinate your children. In fact, I don't know why this is even a choice. I don't know why it's not something that is completely forbidden by law that you are uh, able to choose. I don't know. I hope that they change that in the future because, in my opinion, it should just be legal for people not to vaccinate their children. And I know that I'm probably going to repeat a lot of the things that I already said before, but just... To make it clear to um, people who may not be aware of this, um, the reason that you don't hear words like measles, polio, smallpox, and you don't die before the age of 30, like your ancestors two, three centuries ago did, the only reason is vaccines. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was Mr. Edward Jenner in the 18th century, but let's look it up just to make sure. Edward. Was it you, mister? Physician and said, Yep. This dude. Look him up. He invented vaccines. So, he invented vaccines and uh, the only reason that Miss Von D is able to live a happy, disease-free life and she can even afford to have the luxury to have a child at the fairly late stage of 36 is because of vaccines. And the thing is that um, when you refuse to vaccinate your child, first of all, you are just plain exposing it to these viruses all over again. So basically you're bringing back um, diseases that we have 
as a society gotten rid of already, so there's really no reason for that. And second of all, it's not a family matter, it's not your personal choice, it's not your child you decide kind of situation. Because you're not just deciding for your child, you're actually deciding for all of these people who are going to get in contact with your child. Because um, there are groups of people, such as, for instance, newborns who are too young to have certain vaccines, there's immunocompromised people, there is people who have been undergoing uh, cancer treatment who are also severely immunocompromised, all of these people are going to be potential future victims of your child who hasn't been vaccinated because all of these things that they cannot fight are going to be all over your child. So you're not deciding for your child only, you're deciding for all these other people as well. And you know what, she, she comes to the world and she wants to make it sound like she's some sort of a martyr and everyone's judging her for her choices to be, you know, vegan and whatever and to have a natural birth and I'm like, oh, dude, you're free to do whatever the fuck you want, I don't give a shit. Like, things like this I don't really give a shit about. Uh, even being vegan, I can make fun of you because that's how I like to approach uh, people who are vegan and fruitarian and pescatarian or whatever. But it, that is really just my personal opinion and um, I can just laugh at you, but you know, when you are putting things in your own body and harming yourself, I feel like that's kind of a you problem and I don't really give a shit about it. But when you talk about not vaccinating your child and you tell 7.6 million people that it's perfectly fine to not vaccinate your child, that is a problem that concerns me as well. So. I just want to uh, let you know that I'm very unapologetic when it comes to my opinion about vaccines. And if you're someone who is also uh, considers themselves a part of the anti-vax movement, to me, you are an insult to human evolution and scientific progress. So basically you're a moron. Not even going to apologize for it. So I read through a lot of the com like I stopped following uh, Kat Von D on Instagram and I um, have also stopped following her brand. Where was I? Yeah. So I've stopped following Kat Von D herself and I've stopped following Kat Von D Beauty. And just so you are clear on where I stand on this, yes, I am going to continue using the products that I have bought because I have bought them with my hard-earned money and I don't want to be wasteful. I think it's wasteful to throw away something just because um, you have broken up with the owner of the company or for whatever reason you disapprove of the brand as a whole. I feel like you've spent your money on it and it's wasteful to throw it away, so that's where I stand on this. I'm going to continue using my Kat Von D products, but I am not no longer going to like tag them on Instagram or speak very in detail about the products that I have used if I have featured one of her products there. It's just I don't want to... Um, make it seem like I support her or her brand and most of the time I would say if you have a problem you know with the owner of the company and they haven't done something absolutely horrific it's almost a bit stupid to um, stop buying their products but in this particular case Kat Von D is Kat Von D Beauty you know she is the brand she is the um, face of it um, her art is all over the makeup products that she puts out so it's very difficult for me to not associate Kat Von D Beauty with Kat Von D because Kat Von D is Kat Von D Beauty so that is the reason I'm going to never buy anything from her ever again unless of course she decides to all of a sudden be a decent human being and um, change her mind on the whole vaccine thing and I'd like to see that happening, but I don't think that's going to happen. It doesn't seem like uh, it's in the stars at all. So what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that I was reading through some of the comments under her post and I'm happy to say that a vast majority of people pretty much reacted the way I did and they were like, well, Miss Bondi, you lost me at no vaccines. I'm so disappointed. This is just outrageous, uh, unbelievable. 
and I'm going to stop purchasing your products. I really hope more people stick to their guns when it comes to that and just um, cancel her as a person and as a brand. And I really hope that her brand suffers from it as well because that is one of the things that also baffles me a little bit and that's one of the reasons I also think she's a complete idiot. If you're a, like the face of a makeup brand, how stupid must you be to go on social media and tell everyone that you are not going to vaccinate your child. One of the most controversial topics that you can ever imagine. And you know there's going to be consequences. You know, I'm really hoping she got a call from like one of the managers of Sephora the next day and they were like, Kat, you dumb as fuck bitch. Did you really have to say it all over the internet? I'm sure there's more people out there who are um, in the anti-vaccine movement. Uh, probably a lot of them, or some of them at least, are brand owners and if I never know about it, of course I can never make a choice based on that. But because she said it, I can make that choice and I can choose not to purchase her products anymore. And like I said, a lot of people were actually um, very disappointed with her, but there was of course a large population of people who were also like, yay, your choice, good for you. And there were a lot of people saying like, yeah, I'm a 30 year old or like a happy 40 year old who has not been vaccinated too, you're making the right choice and I'm like, dude, <laughs> do you know why you're a happy 30 year old and vaccinated person who's still walking around happily ever after? Because pretty much everyone around you has been vaccinated. So you've never really come across with any of those horrible diseases that might kill you or, you know, leave you uh, crippled. That is really the only reason. You are lucky that most of the people around you have common sense and have been vaccinated. That is really the only reason. So that's one of the lamest things I've heard as an argument pro um, her beliefs, beliefs, because it's not a belief. There is no room for, for beliefs there, like I said. And what else? Yeah, the other problem, obviously, is that some people still believe that um, vaccines cause autism. They don't. The person who claimed that has long ago been discredited, disproved. There's zero scientific facts proving what he's saying, so I don't know why people wouldn't let go of that bone. Because that's done, forgotten about. It's, it doesn't exist, it's not true. I myself did respond on her uh, Instagram post and I also responded to another comment that she made somewhere on her page. Uh, but the, one of the reasons I was going through the posts on her uh, Instagram page and through the comments, through the comments is because I was deliberately looking for, you know, comments from like the bigger names, the bigger influencers. And to my disappointment, nobody said anything. The only like bigger name that I saw there making a, an appropriate educated comment was Chloe Morello. And I don't really follow Chloe, I did follow her for a while, but she's, she just doesn't do, you know, the kind of makeup or talk about the kind of makeup that I'm interested in. I do think she's really cool and she makes um, some really like funny videos making fun of makeup trends sometimes. But I don't follow her. But she was literally the only person who said something about this. I've not seen any of the other people like even pretend like they know about it. And I don't know why that is. Is it like so important for everyone to per se stay on the PR list? Unfucking believable. The only two people I saw make comments on Instagram from the ones that I do follow um, also here on YouTube were Georgia Harris and LS. And Georgia Harris said that she would be doing a Get Ready With Me where she would also speak up on the subject. I was really hoping to see more like outcry on the topic and more people saying that they are completely outraged and they would stop supporting Kat Von D Beauty because I feel like that's one of the things that I would really like to see happening. I would really like to see her brand suffering from her stupidity. But, you know, if people like me with like practically zero uh, following and a very small platform only say something about this... Oh yeah, I saw also... Um, oh, what's her name? She, uh, Smoky Glow. I'm going to link her uh, video below because she also made a video about um, this Kat Von D debacle bullshit. 
but basically it's only people with fairly smaller platforms so far that I have seen speak up about this and it's just it 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 befuddles me why do not more people t talk about this and I know that there of course there are a lot of people out there who are anti-vaxxers but a lot of them you know don't have 7.6 million people following them on Instagram and a lot of them are not the face of a huge cosmetics brand. So I feel like there's a slight difference there. So so like I said I also made an Instagram post about this and I got an overwhelmingly positive response on uh, what I said on Instagram. I really didn't expect so many people to actually respond and respond so positively. I only had one comment about um, you know I should probably leave Cat alone to make her own choices. But everyone else pretty much agreed with me and everyone else was pretty much outraged. Um, so I think that's really awesome. The only thing I'm missing at this point is bigger people and people with bigger platforms speaking up about this. So if you know someone that I'm not following who has like a bigger platform and has said something about this, please let me know because I would like to like go and applaud them. Because, I, except for Chloe Morello, I literally didn't see anybody else. Which is truly shocking for me. I'm really disappointed with all of these people. I don't know whether they just didn't see the post or they were like, Oh, I'd, ra I'd rather stay away from this controversy. And I think it's fine to stay away from controversy, but there are controversies that you can afford to stay away from and there are controversies that you just cannot remain silent about. And this is one of them. I just feel like this is a topic that we should speak up about. How do you feel about me using um, my Kat Von D palettes here on my YouTube channel? Because I'm really not sure what to do about this. Like I said, I'm going to continue using them in my daily life. But I am really, really struggling with whether I really want to showcase them either on Instagram or here on my YouTube channel because I just don't want to in any way be associated anymore with Miss Von D and her stupidity. What do you think? Let me know. That's something I'm not really sure about. I can easily not feature any of her products on my channel and just keep them for my personal use until I, you know, finish them up. Or I can continue using them and we can just pretend like I'm just using a eyeshadow palette, it doesn't matter which one. And I'm just not going to mention it. What are your thoughts about this, guys? I know a lot of you were also very disappointed by um, what she said. I'm curious whether you're going to stop supporting her brand or are you going to continue purchasing her products or what is your stance on it? I just really would like to know. And if you continue to... Um, you know, buy her products, I by no means, you know, judge you. I know that a lot of people are just able to separate her brand from her as a person, but for me that's just very difficult to do because for me she is the brand. But if you think, well, you know, she's just one person uh, representing the brand or there's so many more people who are involved in making Kat Von D Beauty and you choose to continue purchasing her products, I think that's fine for me and you can totally say it, but I'm just curious what your thoughts on it are. I feel like there isn't really much more to say on the topic at this point. I just wanted to continue talking about it because I just see so few people speaking up about it. I absolutely don't feel like um, my opinion or this video will change anything because like I said I'm just too small to make a difference. But I would really love to see people who can actually make a difference say something about this because I truly feel like she needs to pay for this statement. It needs to somehow, you know, go back and bite her in the ass. Okay dudes, so I'm ready to go. I'm sorry I didn't mention any of the products that I was using in this video. If you're curious about anything that I put on my face, please let me know. I would be more than happy to share. I just wanted to talk about this Kat Von D situation because I cannot let it go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I go on and on about it. I just really feel very passionately about it and I like I said, if I feel passionately about something, I cannot shut up about it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to hang out again soon. Till then, bye!